All right, we're all feeling the financial pinch these days, but data shows our older neighbors are disproportionately affected by the rising cost of living here in the mid state. As News Channel 5's Olivia Michael explains, many in this fastest growing age group in Nashville are struggling just to make ends meet. Barbara Davis has called Nashville home since 1976. I remember when 440 was being built and all the streets that have changed and the buildings when the bat building was being built. But perhaps the biggest change since then has been the cost of living. Just gas, maintaining a car, car insurance, clothing, food. In 1982, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She eventually went on long-term disability before receiving Social Security. But when she turned 65, Davis realized her pension wouldn't be enough to get by. I have to live from paycheck to paycheck. I try to cut back and I try to economize, but health-wise, there are things that I need to do to take care of my health. Now she's back to work at a local hospital. And again, holding the breath. Sally Hussey is the CEO of 50 Forward. I think it impacts older adults maybe in a little bit different way because many of them, most of them are on a fixed income. A recent report found half of Nashville seniors struggle to afford basic necessities like food, health care, or housing. Um, housing is impacting all of us, um, and there's just not enough housing, and there's certainly not enough affordable housing. Now as Nashville continues to grow. We've built this city. We've built, you know, created what is going on. Older adults hope they're not left behind. If we want to make Nashville a city for all, that we have to include older adults in that all. Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Thanks, Olivia. According to a recent uh, Metro Social Services report, Tennessee ranks as the 12th worst state for elderly Americans and the third worst for support for family caregivers.